Hello everyone, I'm going to be showing you the update I made to the RPG Builder UI. So um, keep in mind that this is not meant to be the prettiest UI you've ever seen. This is just to give you a base to start with. So when you are going to be starting your game with RPG Builder, you're not going to be left alone. You're going to have, you know, a base UI layout and elements to start with. So, but I'm expecting you to replace it with your own art or pack that you can find on the asset store so that you make it um, specific to your very own game. So in the previous video, I've already shown the new HUD, so the player nameplate, the action bar, the uh, experience bar, and so on. So that's a bit cleaner, in my opinion. Uh, here you see that I just simply updated the uh, font for the unit nameplate. I also updated the uh, text damage font. So um, it's a bit cleaner, in my opinion. Um, but yeah, nothing too uh, crazy uh, on this side. Let's look at the character panel. So the character panel uh, got a new, you know, background and as well as the font has changed. So that's pretty cool. Um, you can see the inventory, pretty similar uh, than before, but uh, you know, same uh, same changes. So different font, different background. The combat trees actually got a new layout. So it's now going from top to bottom, top being the first nodes of your tree. Uh, and here at the bottom, you can see that you have your different combat trees, so Paramancer, Arcanist, and so on. Uh, in case you didn't see the combat tree video, I suggest you watch it because it's very important and it's showing this very cool system. But um, I'm going to be showing you that this UI is still 100% automated for you, so you don't have to manually create it. Let's say that uh, this Fire Nova here should now be on the um, second spot of its uh, column, a uh, row, my bad. So if we now save this and open the UI, you see that it's now changing place. And you can control this uh, UI layout simply by changing those two values here, the chair and the row. But check the video for more information. Um, and the uh, game settings, uh, well, option menu, which is still not looking great, but uh, I'm probably going to be tweaking that a bit. So uh, that was it for the UI update. I hope you like it. And um, I think personally it looks a bit cleaner. Definitely not perfect, but uh, it's honestly a pretty good base to start with. So um, I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.